Hey everybody, Shane with another toy review. This time I'm reviewing a set from the McFarlane Halo Micro Ops line. Now the Micro Ops line, the entire line itself is 1 to 100 scale. Which means that anything released in this line is going to be, is going to, be to scale with one another. Well, here's the first set for the line I'm going to review. I've had it for a few months. I figured I'd go ahead and do a review on it. But this is the UNSC Warthog and Mondu set. Now there's three different size sets you can get. There's the little, there's the small carded sets, which is which this is one of them. There's the large carded sets, and then there is the bot sets. And the bot sets are generally more like uh, full-on diorama stuff like that. So far, the only set they've done, as far as the bots ones go, are the, uh, uh, I think it's the high ground multiplayer map. That's been it. But, first off, uh, both of these are supposed to be more of the Halo Reach style Warthog and Mongoose, especially the Mongoose. But it comes with three little figurines. First off, the wheels for both vehicles do fully spin. This turret does fully rotate 360 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and just take him off. But the turret itself fully rotates 360 degrees. It comes with three little minifigures. Now driving the Warthog is a Mark 5B Spartan. There's a Recon Spartan for the Mongoose. And operating the turret of the Warthog is a UNSC Trooper. Now, getting him on here is a little bit of a pain. But, I mean, once you actually do get him on, it actually looks pretty sweet. Especially as far as a little display piece goes, a little diorama piece goes. But, here is the... Warthog itself. As you can see, this just looks really, really nice. There we go. One more time since I actually got my camera adjusted on this. Now on the underside of it. Shows off a little detailing. Then back here you can see where it says copyright two. It says copyright 2012. Microsoft. Yada yada yada. Right back here. But overall, the mongoose itself is really really nice. I actually would like to get several more of these little sets if I can. Mainly just for the warthog itself. I'd like to see the warthog released by itself for like five bucks, if that. Now for the little mongoose itself. Like I said, the wheels for both vehicles do rotate. As I said, this one's the Recon Spartan. Now, even though both of the all three figures for this set are tiny, for as small as they are, McFarlane did an excellent job as as far as uh trying to put as much detail into these little B figures as they could. Let's see, go ahead and pop him off. But, as you can see, they actually try to put as much detail on this little recon Spartan as they could. They try to do that with all three little minifigures for this set. They try to do that with all of their minifigures, actually. But, again, this is a very, very nice little display set. Now, the entire line itself, as I said, is 1 to 100 scale, which means that any of the sets that you buy is going to be to scale with one another. Now, is this a set you should have? If you're looking to play with it, I wouldn't touch it, because, I mean, like I said, the little small carded sets like this one right here are $10. And these are really display intended for display pieces, which doesn't bother me. Because I actually like having little 
display pieces whenever I can get them. But if you're not, if you're looking at it for a say showing your love of Halo, if you're wanting to do a little Halo diorama set, then this entire line might be for you. For me, I like this little line, but you know, before I go on rambling about nonsense, but that's just my take on the Warthog Mongoose Microops set by McFarlane. You have a good day.